In times of crisis, people look to their leaders for answers. But ever since the planets were ripped from our sky, it seems all I can offer are more questions. And now, with Mars returned, I hardly know where to start. Your theory was correct. The relic is of the pyramids, there's no doubt. Word is out about Mars. I need more time. The Cabal are mobilizing. We need to... Secure the camp! They have another target. What are they aiming at? Savathun. Here, Ikora. We're back on Mars. Back? From where? Sabathun's throne world. I know we should have checked in, but we had Sabathun in our sights. That might have been our only shot at her, and we couldn't miss it. I understand completely. That's not like Sabathun to allow herself to be seen so easily. There's something else. Before we left the ship, we ran into one of her knights. And it... It had a ghost, Ikora. Same as any other light bearer. A ghost? A hive knight with a ghost? But that means... Sabathun stole the light. But that's impossible, isn't it? Impossible? With Sabathun, nothing is impossible. God of cunning and lies. Hive legend tells us she was born on a hostile, far-off planet, where she would have lived a short, uneventful life. If it weren't for the worm familiar that warned of an impending cataclysm. And so, she led her siblings into the depths, where the ancient worm gods offered them immeasurable power in exchange for endless blood tribute. From this, the Hive were born, and countless civilizations were condemned to extinction. For untold ages, they devoured life and light wherever it could be found, facing little resistance, until they tried to take on the Guardians. After the death of her brother Oryx, Savathun went into hiding. Not out of fear, of course, but out of strategy. Because Savathun knows the best way to beat your enemy is to join them. In her greatest trick yet, she infiltrated the Vanguard, weakening us from within. And stealing our most sacred resource. The one thing we thought she could never touch. 
the light. <laughs> Here I was, bemoaning the fact that we now had two mysteries to solve. And you, Wilson, making breakthroughs left and right. So, the relic rendered a full blueprint out of a single fragment. Almost as if you were shaping that weapon based on its own memory. Which parallels the distortions all over the planet. Open wounds where the past bleeds into the present. Somehow the relic can manipulate time. With the right conduit, of course. Which Savathun happened to have. But could she use the relic? And what for? The questions just keep piling up. It seems the answers are buried within Savathun's throne world. I need someone to go in and dig them up. Guardian, how do you feel about working with the Hidden? Hey, you know, get awkward out of the way first, I always say. This, uh, pile of ash and bone uh, used to be my, uh... Actually, don't worry about it. All you need to know, us wandering ghosts gave into the hive believing we'd found purpose and, well... Peer pressure is a hell of a thing. Huh? Also, because it's what the traveler must have wanted. Yeah. Then Hive killed guardians with light, and you think that's the traveler's will, really? I'll tell you what, I don't buy it. Not anymore. The Witch Queen's up to something, and, you know, maybe together we get to the bottom of it, huh? There's an old Hive temple nearby with Savathun's secrets inside. That is all I know. The what and the why? That's your game, yeah? And when you get there, radio me. Private channels only. Oh, almost forgot. The name's Finch. Honor to meet you. Yeah, for real, real. Finding Sagira brings up a lot of old memories. When you picked up her shell, you were able to access something left behind. A psychic fingerprint. I believe the relic awoke a new ability within you. One that reveals what lies beneath the surface. One rooted in darkness. Something tells me this witness Sabathun mention is directly tied to her theft of the light. We need to hear more of that fingerprint. Which means you need to strengthen that ability. We've learned from the pyramid on Europa before. Head there. Eris will guide you. If my instincts are correct, this ability could be just what we need to solve this case. I admit, even after I sent you off, I had my doubts. But Eris reports the Pyramid responded to your presence. A sign that we're headed in the right direction, I think. Now that you've paid a visit to the Pyramid, you should be able to reveal the memory on Sagira's shell in full. The fact you can't means there's still something we're missing. The Hidden have been analyzing the wounds you see all across the desert. The areas around them emanate with strong concentrations of psychic energy. They've located a similar concentration inside the Throne World. I believe that's what we need in order to make Savathun's memory fully manifest. Take Sagira's shell there. Then we'll see if I'm correct. Hopefully, this is how we'll finally find some answers. I stand before a being with a thousand names. It whispers one. Who witness? Remember it. Remember that name. It is not darkness, but something that wears it like a cloak. It gives darkness a wicked shape. I refuse to be its servant. I spent centuries crafting schemes, playing tricks, finding loopholes. And then I select my new name. A man with many enemies and few friends. But those friends know secrets. About the light. About new beginnings. My plan takes shape. That came from Sagira's shell. Like a psychic imprint. 
A memory. Sabathun's memory. And if that's what it was, it means she used Ikora's relationship with Osiris to learn something about the light. Something dangerous. Whoa, 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 you saw a what? A memory? See, see, I knew Sagira's shell would start us in the right direction. I knew it! Okay, here's the tip. Ever heard of Oryx? The Taken King? Sabathun's brother? Yeah. Okay, I thought so. Sabathun's got a temple dedicated to him. I, I, look, I know what you're thinking. Who cares, right? But we found Sagira's shell in a temple dedicated to the sister, Zivu. Imagine what we could find in Oryx's temple. Okay, as far as how we get in, well, you just leave that to me. The tablets hide a riddle. Finch, you were right. We found something. It's a piece of the Tablets of Ruin. The tablets Oryx used to create Taken. I was right. I was right. I knew it. I knew the Taken were involved somehow. Alak Hul's ghost got away. It just left his body here. Uh, contingency plan. They're learning. Trying to stay a step ahead of you. But you got the tablet. That's the important part. That gets us one step closer to taking down the Witch Queen. I will never be the Taken Queen. I refuse to play second fiddle to my brother Oryx. When Oryx carved the Tablets of Ruin, he described the ability to create the Taken. But Oryx's chisel was affected by viral power from the deep. I studied its vermicular path. I read between the lines. The Tablets hide a riddle. The answer to this riddle is something greater than the power to take. It is the power of the witness to move worlds from one reality to another. This is what I will do. I will not take. I will give. I will grant the Traveler a safe haven away from its enemies. And once it hangs in the sky of my throne world, I will seal it away. So, it's not the darkness that's responsible for the planet's mass abduction, but an entity behind it. The Witness. And it seems I might be the one responsible for Savathun's theft of the light. I won't lie. I anticipated this. After all, I was the one who welcomed her into the tower, who gave her access to the Vanguard archives. And now, humanity is at risk of losing the Traveler to the Hive. If I truly am to blame here, I need to know, before Savathun gets her claws anywhere near the Traveler. Your friend Finch has been in touch with a new lead. I'm not so sure about this one, but right now we can't afford any hesitation. Connect with him in the throne world. Find the answers we need, no matter what it takes. I couldn't fill you in on every minute detail. When it comes to Savathun, no detail is too small. You know that better than anyone. Which is why I made some judgment calls without you. As you do without me. Not on a matter like this! Ah. Uh, Guardian. We can discuss this more later. My point, Ikora, is that we are meant to be a team. You can't rely on your instincts alone. Perhaps I can't rely on them at all. The way this investigation is going. It's clear my judgment has been compromised. I should step back. Let you and Eris handle this. As a team. Ikora's instincts are the only reason we've come so close to the truth. 
This new lead puts it firmly within our grasp. All right, then. You and the Guardian follow up. Keep me posted. I a trusted source has informed us of new evidence. A memento from Savathun's last known location before her conversion to the light. It's kept deep within her fortress, a difficult place to reach. But we have no other options. Go there, and I'll be in touch. that I could forget something like that, isn't it? Such a storied life, erased. The light offers us a fresh start, but if we don't know where we came from, how will we know where to go? I'm so grateful to you for reminding me, for telling my story. Wait. What is she talking about? She remembers. We helped her remember. Thanks for the memories, Guardian. We have to leave. Saying Sabathun was dead? Our most devious adversary, the one who nearly decimated the last city from within, was dead. And the traveler resurrected her? 
I wouldn't have believed it either, but... But why would she need us to recover her memories if she never lost them in the first place? This has to be another trick. A lie to fool us into surrendering the Traveler without a fight. This has been the Traveler's approach from the beginning. The Books of Sorrow detail many civilizations it blessed with the light, then abandoned. High propaganda. The Fallen tell the same story. When the Witness and its Black Fleet came to call, the Traveler moved on to our system. Where it sacrificed itself to save humanity from the same forces. Forces which included the Hive! After all that, why would the Traveler give our worst enemy the light? It doesn't matter. I don't know why the Traveler gave Savathun the light. Maybe it has changed its mind about Guardians. Maybe it's not as infallible as we once believed. I don't know, and it doesn't matter. Because I'm here to protect humanity. And if Savathun takes the Traveler, we lose our light. Along with any hope for surviving the Witness's return. So, whatever it takes to stop this heist, we will do. All right. How do we stop this? I'm not sure yet, but I know where to find out. Hive legend tells us Sabathun was born on a far-off planet, where she would have lived an uneventful life if it weren't for her worm familiar. The object you retrieved from the underbelly of the throne world. What if it's not a statue? What if it's the worm familiar itself, calcified from age? That would explain why you couldn't unlock it with the others. That also means it contains a memory that Savathun herself doesn't know. What that is, we're going to find out. With the one tool we have capable of slicing deep into the past. It'll be risky using the relic this way. Which is why I'll be taking this on myself. Eris will help me prepare. Meet us on Mars when you're ready. This is how we stop Savathun, Guardian. I know it. Soon be claimed by the light. Unless we claim them first, we will tell the most cunning sibling of cataclysm, the prophecy of great loss. We will feed our fear, our pride. We will say, Young Sathona, the end is coming. Cataclysm. A god wave. 
In the sky, there is only death. But salvation lies in the deep. Lead your sisters down. Your coming will spare their short lives. And you will be reborn. The Witch Queen. Sarah. They were tricked. The Hive would lie to you. So, the Hive God of Lies was lied to. This changes everything. Well, not everything. We still can't let Savathun seal the Traveler away. The ritual's already begun. We need to move fast. Savathun may be one of the Traveler's chosen by rights, but she's still leaning on tricks she learned from the Witness. Take the Familiar to Savathun's fortress. I'll follow as soon as I'm recovered. Wait until you're in the heart of the ritual, then unleash the memory. That should be enough to destabilize things, and break her hold on the Traveler. Remember, Guardian, Savathun's strategy rests on knowing more than anyone else. On her ability to twist lies and cast confusion. But now, we can turn the tables on her. Little Ghost. You were asked to accept the darkness. Asked to turn against your cousins. Asked to defy the will of the Traveler. My ghosts make no concessions. We serve the Traveler's true interests. No concessions? How stupid do you think I am? You and your siblings. You killed my friends! I remember Crota and the Great Disaster. I remember Oryx and the Taken. I remember what you did to the Awoken and the Dreaming City. I'll never forget what happened to Sagira, to Osiris. I would die before I ever chose to help the Hive. These frail siblings will soon be claimed by the light. Unless we claim them first. What is this? How did you... We will tell the most cunning sailing of the Cataclysm. The prophecy of great loss. No. No, that's not what happened. The Traveler never came to us. We were forced to choose the Deep. I've missed this. So now you want to play games? Then let's play! We will feed her fear. Her pride. Go on then. You know so much? Tell me who I am! Isn't this interesting? I miscalculated. So did you, Guardian. So protective of your traveler that you wouldn't let me keep it safe. The witness is coming. The game is yours to play now. Yours to win or lose. Just don't say I didn't warn you. Where did your ghost go? Guardian, I just got the message. 
The Traveler is back in the last city. Is it done? Is Salvathun... She's dead. But her ghost got away. Good enough. Hold your position. The Hidden are coming to secure the remains. Good work, Guardian. You did the right thing. Now what? Now, we prepare for the witness and stop the next collapse. than life, but deliver only death, as you have for so many before. Enough. Enough death. Enough life. You have no pieces left to place. The game is over. Do not be afraid. Your pale heart holds the key. This time, there is no escape. Guardian, you've no doubt heard the stories. Where evil is vanquished and the sky opens, shining peace down on humanity. Savathun is dead, and yet again, I've seen no such signs. Instead, Imaru lives, plotting his return while the Scorn and the Hive struggle for supremacy over the throne world. And somewhere among the stars, this witness toys with us, preparing to finish what it started long ago. I keep reminding myself that somehow, we evaded extinction once before. I have to believe we can do it again. Even Mara Sav, Queen of the Awoken, believes that. Which is why she's here, requesting you. Reluctant as I may be to pair you with one so unpredictable, we need the support now more than ever. Go, aid the Queen. She may prove to be our most valuable ally yet in the war to come. The very parasite that once plagued the Witch Queen herself. Queen Mara. Good to see you. Do not delay us with pleasantries. This parasite knocks at death's door. What use do we have for Savathun's dying worm? This parasite is an opportunity to learn from humanity's greatest failure. Our collapse. But not ours alone. That day was as much a failure for the wind. Are you okay? I'm fine. As I said, our collapse was as much a failure for the witness and its followers. Sabathun included. Sabathun was there? On behalf of the witness. But something prevented humanity's end. Something known by Savathun and... Her worm. It requires strength and a new host to survive. To divulge its secrets. But that's a death sentence. For most, yes. But for the Queen of the Awoken? It's worth the risk. Thank you so much for watching, let me know in the comments section what you thought about it below. Check the links in the description and you can pick which platforms to follow me on. If you're new around here, how about subscribing and clicking the notification bell as I put out new videos every single day. I've been Victor the Dragon and I'll speak to you soon.